Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel in another episode of Blasted Oasis. So, I'm down here in the mine digging away, and I stumbled across a rather large lead node, which is awesome, which means we're going to have bullet tips for years. Um, so, having rounds for the M60 is not going to be an issue. Um, still like to find nitrate powder, but um, I really wanted stone mostly when I was down here for uh, to make like just for concrete and stuff so I can make sand in that, but uh, I'll take the lead. Definitely was one of the things we were looking for. Now we do need nitrate powder still, so I'm hoping I find some down with that. So let's get out of here. <sighs> All right, so we got stuff to do today. We've got to make sure the front uh, part of our house is set up and ready for the horde. And then if we've got time, We'll shoot off to both traders. We don't have to go to the traders today. We're not in dire need of anything for sure. Um, let's actually get this lead. Ooh, we're still working on this, are we? Got that in there for now. Let's get some of this concrete moving with the stone that we have. And then we're going to make 3,000 crushed sand. So we got 3,000 here, so we can make um, 3,000 concrete mix for after the horde. Uh, we're definitely going to need that. All right, let's get back over here, do that, and then you got a bellows, so that's fine. All right, now um, let's grab some food to have on us when we're outside. Let's grab one of you. And we're going to grab a stack of you. Put you in there. All right. Now, uh, we've got our hammer. Let's grab our cobblestone. And a stack of concrete. Now, I don't know if we're going to need the concrete or not. Uh, but we'll take the stack out with us just in case. So let's go get that rest of that floor knocked in. It's got to be wary. There's nothing else around here. All right. Let's finish knocking this floor out. So a little while back, there was a comment posted in the comment section. Somebody was wondering why when I'm s sneaking and I open something, I always pop back up. Uh, it's because I don't have my sneak key set to turn on off. Like you can set it up so you can set stealth to stay on all the time. I don't have it that way. Right, I can just, like I don't have to turn it on and off. I just, if I'm holding down the uh, the key that I've got for stealth, I'm stealthing. And as soon as I let go of it, I pop back up again. But that means when you're in a container and you're stealthing, you immediately pop back up. So there is no kind of in-between, unfortunately. Okay, so that's that done. Very yeah, there's a little bit of repairs to be done out here. Just going to repair these steps. I, I was said I was gonna, I might take them out, but I'm going to leave them in for this horde night. Then we'll take them out in between. All right, it's everything repaired. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and knock this into concrete here because it all has to be updated at some point. I'm hoping to get another level today too. I've got three skill points to spend. I had to spend one last night on. Um, um, What's it called again? Mother load. To get more uh, resources back as I was mining. I was mining stone and I was like, oh, I should have around 6,000 by now. And then I looked and it was like 2,500. I'm like, holy crap, I feel like I've been going forever and got nothing. So I used one on mother load. I was going to put two in. I got three left over. I was going to put two in there, but I'm like, nah, I want to save it for something skill for the horde night tonight. So I got three skill points. Hopefully I'll have one more. I was thinking about adding them to perception, but what I might do is go with um, back into strength again and try and get my shotgun up as much as I can. Cause I think I want to try and run shotgun most of tonight. I know we've only got a level one double barrel. So shotgun and pipe bombs, I think will be our, our go-to tonight. And speaking of pipe bombs, actually let's quickly just jet back inside real quick. I want to make sure what our um, status of the our pipe bombs are because I want to have at least 40 for tonight. I don't think I'll need any more than that. 
Oh, I got plenty. Okay, I don't need to make any. Okay, so let's get... That's done. Let's get this part broken out here. My recommendation when you're doing stuff like this is to always, like, at least get a block underneath your main wall. Because if a demo comes along and blows up just outside, you want to have support for the rest of your base. So at least go down one block, if, if not two. That way, if they blow up outside here, it's not such a such of a big deal. You've got protection still. All right, I'm going to leave that like that until that dries, and then we'll hit it to reinforced. Do this side now. Yeah, looks like we've got a bit of a wandering horde here. What's up, guys? Yo, right here. Don't go, don't go away. I need the XP. Come on, bring it in. Come on, bring it back for some love. Stop hitting my base, you fuckers. I feel so much safer fighting around my base, knowing that I could just go inside at any time. Yeah, prima donna. Dead, right? Yeah. Nice. A little bit of XP. And look at this. This is already starting to dry. Isn't that beautiful? Alright, let's finish shitting up this side. Okay, so... That's the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need to go out one more. Unless we make this the corner. Which I think is what I was going to do. That's going to be the corner there. So that's the corner. And then let's go out one more layer. Actually, we're going to make this two out. All right, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to see if I can take this out. Ooh, I can. Beautiful. Nice. All right, let's get back over to the other side. We're going to do the same thing on this corner. I'm going to take out two of these rows. And do the same thing out of this pillar. I'm not going to upgrade it past this because they weren't hitting on this at all. So I'm not worried about them hitting on it this time either. Yeah, we'll be fine there. They didn't really touch the building in any way. Ooh, what was that? Oh, a little bit right there. I think... Did I throw a pipe bomb out, bomb out here? I might have. Could have been splash damage, who knows. Alright, so I'm going to leave this as concrete. I'm not going to upgrade this. Let's go upstairs. I need to get forged iron. Oh, I don't know why I keep thinking that's my where my forged iron is, or my other tools are. So I made 57 rounds for this guy tonight. And what we're going to do, it's got a, uh, uh, what do you kind of, uh, magazine of 57. So we're going to repair it. And then we're going to load it up. And we're going to put you out here tonight. Somewhere. Where's I going to get a good chance to see the birds? Like, can't put it on the angle. Like, maybe there? I mean, it'll hold the birds off for a little while. I wonder if it's going to see the zombies out front, though. And start shooting at them instead. Um. Maybe like that is a little better. 
Yeah, I don't think it'll shoot the zombies unless maybe there's like right there. No, I don't think you can even see that though. I think we'll be fine. I think it's fine there. All right, let's see if we can knock this stuff in now. Oh, perfect timing. Then we can go ahead and take you guys. Uh, let's make a bunch more. Because I think what I'll do is I'll do it like... Oop, not there. There. Okay, so I'm just going to go up to Cobble on this one. So this is where I'm going to go out one more here. And then we're going to smooth this out so that the zombies come around the building. But this is the corner. And, and this is going to be blocks here. And then right in here, here and here, I'm going to have two... Um, electric fence posts that are going to run along here. So when the zombies come up this way, they're going to run into two layers of electric fences. And I'm going to build the same kind of tower here, and the same tower here, and the same thing back there, so that when the zombies come, there'll be electric fences on, on all three sides. That's the goal. Um, I've run this before, it works just fine. I'm going to fill this in, because this will be the floor of the tower. Get this all hammered in. Okay, just waiting for those two to dry so we can put them to reinforce. Now, um, okay, this, let's just start. Um, do this first. All right, there we got four skill points. Let's have a look here. Actually, forged iron. Wanted to fix that. That's got to get upgraded to steel. Actually, let's go do that right now. Let's go make a steel hatch. So, uh, where are you here? My steel. I've got lots of steel now. Uh, oh, I need uh, springs and mechanical parts. And then hatch. Um... Uh, Get one of those going. We'll knock that in tonight. Um, you can stay there. You guys go back. Do I have any iron left or did I uh, melt it all in? I melted it all in, didn't I? Uh, let's get... Good. 57. Let's go with 90. 51. 85, 48, beautiful. Gonna need some of that for general repairs. Let's just quickly go down and repair this door. We don't forget, we're gonna upgrade this one anyway, so it won't matter. That's at full, so this is gonna be two iron bars plus a steel hatch. I'm hoping we don't need the steel hatch, but based on what's happened out here, <laughs> we're probably gonna need the steel hatch. All right, let's go back downstairs. Uh, the steel hatch is going to be... Well, it's going to be a minute. Let's wait. Um, oh, you know what should be done? This. A little bit more concrete. So let's grab all I've got here. And let's make 2,000 in here. Oh, the stone. Right. Um, going to need that. So 2,000... And then the rest in here. I'll get that done fast. So hopefully we can go ahead. Actually, want to keep this stuff on us. I'm going to bring some more of that just in case. Um, should I start using... I might as well... We've got a bit of time and it should dry. I'm going to start knocking in some rebar. Might as well. I was afraid that it wasn't going to have time to dry, but it should have no, no problem. I'm just going to go around the edge here. Then we're going to spend our skill points. So this is going to be underneath where the wedges are going to be. This is going to be where the trough is. But it all needs to be reinforced concrete. Like I said, you got to future proof it because of demos. But if this part's not steel, that's fine. Um, but it does need to be reinforced concrete so they don't blow a hole in the ground and then start digging under your base. I mean, you could still handle them with... Um, you could still handle them with pipe bombs, I think. Uh, but you'd rather not have to do it. 
Okay, let's go ahead and knock all this in. Actually, this is dry. So we can go ahead and drop. I don't want to waste too much concrete right now, but... Okay, so that should be more than enough time for that to dry. Now we're going to go ahead and just go one more out this way. Like this. So, because this is actually going to be the corner. And we're going to go ahead and... I don't want to use too much concrete right now. I know we got tons coming, but let's just get this upgraded to here. So this is the corner of the tower. And that's going to have a curved block on it here, a curved angle block, so they don't get stuck on that corner. Now we do the same thing on this side. Drop one of those in there. Upgrade that to reinforced. All right, so that's it for that. I don't think we're going to do any more out here tonight, or today. We'll leave it as it is. Actually, how much concrete do we have left? 500, and what time of day is it? Okay, we might have, this might actually have enough time to dry. So let's go ahead and knock this out as much as we can. All right. So that's given us pretty much half a level. We got 19 left. We should be able to get a couple rows in here. Alright, I'm actually going to get enough concrete to finish this off. It just feels wrong not finishing it. And, uh, what else do we need here? Let's go ahead and use this. Um, what else was I going to do? Oh yeah, the hatch. Get that downstairs. We can upgrade that fully to steel. Beautiful. And we'll leave it down and we'll throw it up if we need it. They should never break through that tonight. It's day 28. If they break through that, I'm doing something wrong. Alright, that can stay there. That can stay there. Um, the iron I'm going to need for tonight uh, here. I don't, actually, you know, I don't think I am. I don't think I'm going to need any iron. At all. Let's go finish up the walkway. Then we've got a few hours to kill before the horror shows up, but I can't go too far or else this is not going to dry. I gotta do something about these stairs. I don't know whether we keep them or not. I think we should. But they're in a weird spot right now. How much concrete do I got left here? Get these upgraded. Not that it matters, but we'll do that for now. All right, let's go inside, see what we can make. Okay, so gonna keep some of this stuff on me tonight. This can go back in here. Concrete I need, that can stay in there. You. So we got, we don't need the cobble on us, but I'm gonna keep some on me just in case. Um. What else? Concrete, we're making a crap ton. I don't have to worry about that. Uh, steel, we're going to need steel on us for tonight. In case we need to repair the hatches. Forged iron, we need us on that. We need that on us tonight as well. Okay, and then let's, let's close this. So the bottom of this. Okay, we need the repair kits. Don't need you. Don't need you. Nor you. Maybe we need the pickaxe. I doubt it, but you never know, right? We'll take that with us. The bow we're definitely not going to use. So we'll leave that there. Frames we keep on us. Hammer will be down here. The wood we'll keep. That we don't need. You never know when you need wood. Huh. You never know when you need some wood. All right, let's grab these two. Actually, I'm going to grab all of them. We need this for after the horde. Um, we've only got two of these? Really? Really? I bring a couple of atom junkies. Well, we don't need them. Skull crushers we don't really need. Although I guess I should really start bringing skull crushers uh, 
when we go out drop one before we go into a, a base or a uh, building that way we've got them there we can do some good damage to uh, ferals grab a couple of those which we probably won't need but we'll grab them anyway all right um, as much as I want to use this we're gonna take this with us I think that'll be our water for tonight gonna take two of these guys with us don't think we'll need the mega crutches um, Grandpa's Moonshine is a lot of melee. That's 400 melee damage. To me, these things are like cheat. Lasts for 45 seconds, I know, but there should be like a, a 10 minute cooldown on them or something. Hmm. What else do we need? Thing that I can see here. We'll keep, hang on to the black strap for now. Put you in there. Yeah, we got ridiculous amounts of water here. All right, um, now as far as firearms go, gonna use the shotgun. Let's bring this guy down as the backup. Now we've got two rad remover and clip, yep, and then this is the shotgun choke for taking zombies' heads off. Um, I think it was Fist of Dorm mentioned uh, maybe using the, uh, the um, duckbill. To hit more zombies at once. I would rather prefer taking a zombie's head completely off than scattering damage across multiple zombies. Uh, it's just my personal preference. It's not necessarily better or worse. Um, it's not bad. Like when they're all tightly packed like that, it's really you're not going to miss that much. Uh, once we get... Oh, you know what we can do? Ooh, I just thought of this. Do we have... We don't have any power, do we? We've got four fence posts we had more than that six fence posts we don't have any power you know that's what we were looking for I think you know what we do let's spend some points um, intellect I want to take it to six so we can get the next level of advanced engineering and we should be able to make a generator bank Forged iron, mechanical parts, electrical parts. Got the forged iron on us, mechanical and electrical parts. Let's craft one of these guys. We can throw some posts down tonight. If they get destroyed, it's not a big deal. We'll just throw two of them down. Leave these guys in here. We'll throw two of them down. Actually, I should be throwing all the power stuff over there. We only need one of these guys and a little bit of fuel. That should be enough. Um, yeah, we'll run some power tonight. Switch we don't need. We're just going to run it. I don't care. Uh, we need the wire tool though. Now the question is um, where do we put them? Like, I gotta be able to... wire them up to the, uh, thing. We could put them, like... on the edge of the stairs there. They're gonna get destroyed, I know that. But I don't really care. Right? Um, if we get a break, we'd be able to repair them from here. Unlikely we're going to get a break. We might, though. If we're pipe bombing them, we might get a break. Be able to repair them. But if we don't repair them, we don't repair them. No big deal. Uh, we're not going to run the sledge, obviously, because we got the turret above us. Um, we are going to need all these, though. Take some of that. We don't got a lot of 7.62. Do we have... We want it, We got like no gunpowder because we can't find nitrate powder. I'm going to hold on to this because I don't know if we're going to need it for pipe bombs or not. Bring this down here. Keep these guys down here. That won't be in our tool belt so maybe we keep these guys 
down there. Something like that, maybe. Oh, that doesn't need to be there. That can go in there. Uh, we got to keep the mechanical and electrical parts on us for repairs. That's going to be going into our generator, which is now done. Okay. Generator bank, we're just going to throw in here. On the wall. And then drop you in. That's going to be plenty of fuel, plenty of power output. We go from you to you, and from you to you. Boom. Actually, you know what? Maybe we can... I just thought of something. Let's get two more. Because we can put them on the inside. We'll rewire this. Get two more of these guys. Yeah, man. Just thought of this. If they don't last, they don't last, but we'll put one there, one there, and then we'll rewire this sucker so that it goes from here to here, from here to there, there goes to there, and then there goes to here. So now as long as we don't walk into these corners, we're good. We go forward and back, and we need to go over here. Okay, and stay away from the corner. That just that just looks like a hazard <laughs> waiting to happen. Oh, you know what we do though? I got an idea. I got this sorted. I got it sorted. Take this. Could use a wood plate, and there we go. Advanced. Put one there, and one there. Right? That way, if we're here and we walk off to the side, we don't actually uh, bump into them. Because if we're back here, I don't think we're going to walk into those wires. Alright. Cool. <sighs> actually, I wonder if we should uh, do it this way. Just in case a pipe bomb actually goes off inside, it's not going to damage the posts. I mean, we can repair them, but I would rather not have to. And then let's go make a steel door. I mean, we don't need... I mean... If we need the steel door, we're doing something wrong. How much steel we have? We got a lot. Um, I just need springs. Yeah, we got lots. So we'll just put you... Back. Oh yeah, man. I'm feeling good about tonight. This should be a good horde. Lots of ammo. I'll keep this on me just in case something disastrous happens. We may need to rewire stuff. I doubt it, but you never know. Now, I want to go ahead and make, while we're waiting, let's make a storage chest. Because I want to drop this down. Uh, I think when we're ready to loot, I want to just drop everything in here. So maybe we just put it... We need a, we need a dump chest anyway, right? So let's just drop one right here. That way when we go out to loot, we can just drop everything in here and go out. And then when we're coming back in and out of the house, we can just drop stuff here. That makes sense. Uh, what else do we need? I don't think we need anything else. We're ready. Oh, we're waiting for the steel door. Well, we got a lot done today. Oh, we got to spend our points. So we got... How many points do we have left over? We got one point left over. Uh, could we go into perception? We could go into something for strength. Oh, boomstick. Yeah. I think it was I think it was the right idea getting the wires up. Because that's gonna be more important than the boomstick. Because that's gonna just that's gonna enable us to just wreck these guys. Um if they're standing there, they're just gonna die horribly. 41 seconds. Beautiful. So that's some good timing. That was, this is, okay, we need, we do need a bellows. We do have an anvil in here. Do we not? 
We don't have an anvil in there. I thought we did. Weird. Alright, this is going to be for our making s concrete, or making cement, and then this is our branch and lead. Yeah, you know, let's get some steel going. How much is it? How much steel can we get going? Actually, we should probably make 100 iron, too. 435. So let's get 100 iron. And then we need 12. That should put us pretty close without going over. Okay. Kind of ready. How's our door doing? Beautiful. Let's go put that in downstairs. It's the main floor way in and out, so... Beautiful. Now that's concrete. Right? Yeah. He just looks like that. Okay, beautiful. Alright, can we see that from out here? I don't think so, right? Oh, we can. So that looks like it's all updated. Beautiful. I'm not gonna... Well, how much time do we got? Two hours. Will it dry in two hours? Probably not. Let's not, bu let's not risk it. Wait, what was damaged here? Oh, that. I repaired all this. Huh. That's me, just me being paranoid. So where is the turrets up on top of here? Nice. I think we're ready. And worst case scenario, we would pop this up. Yeah. I feel pretty confident now. Do we leave anything in here? No, it's empty. We really do need to get this house working though. Maybe between now and day 35, we spend a fair bit of time working on the house. We do need to hit up those cracker books though. So maybe we do those. We've got tier three quests available to us now. We finished those off last episode, tier two. So we can do tier threes. We're having hard enough time doing tier twos though. But uh, we can do tier threes now. We do need better body armor. That's the one thing we are going to need to do. Um, can we make... I don't think we can make military stuff yet, can we? Oh, we can. So I just need to get my light armor up. Yeah, yeah. I forgot that we... Didn't we buy that, like, on day one or something? It's one of those things that I feel like I'm always looking for, but then forget that I get it if I get it early. So we can make military armor, which is going to be a huge upgrade from what we've already got, right? Because we're still rocking the uh, the padded stuff. Ooh, damn, we're damaged, eh? Seven repair kits. Um, let's just repair them. Yeah. Okay, I feel better about that now. Alright, we got our... Uh, oh, we should probably get our looting goggles too for afterwards. Now, we've only got the base models. Like, you can get up to plus five. I've only got the plus three ones. We should keep our eyes open for a better version. But I don't find it's really helping us at all. That's got the weighted head on it, eh? I should probably just sell these. I don't think we're going to need the sledge turrets from now on. Um... Hopefully we can pick up a shotgun or an SMG turret. Most likely SMG, because I don't think we're I don't foresee us using 9mm ammo. Why are these in here? Let's just take them with us for tonight just in case. Just in case. Do we have any more in here? A little bit. In case we need to hard rock with the M60. But yeah, we've got a lot of 9mm ammo. An SMG turret will be perfect for uh, vulture defense, but the way this base is going to be set up, you don't need it. You just won't. Uh, because the roof... I mean, uh, you'll see when we build it. There's going to be a pillar in the center for a ladder that goes to the roof, a block around the pillar, and then there's one row of bars that go around that, and then all reinforced concrete around that. So we'll be standing pretty much underneath those bars the whole time, all the way around. 
on each of the sides and we'll be using the shotgun and pipe bombs so if any birds come we just look up and kill them that's how easy it is but if, well, we can put an SMG turret up there just to take care of them so we don't have to do that um, I just find sometimes those, those turrets use up a little bit too much ammo all right I think we're ready still need to double plate we're gonna plate all the walls on the outside of here too I should probably should I close this I think so I'm interested to see if they want to try and get through here. I mean, we're ready for them. But I'm interested to see if they'll try and do that. I think they're going to come here. Oh, you know what we need? Um, that I forgot to do? Uh, where's our frames? Let's make these frames again. Okay, now we can go and do this. So what this does, it's not going to be dry in time. I'll do the inside one because that'll probably dry off. Um, what that's going to do is prevent dogs or anything from getting inside. They just won't be able to get in with this here. Even spiders won't be able to get in. So the way I've, I've dealt with spider zombies with the next build is that when you've got a ramp like this, a ramp block, and you put these blocks up here on top so that they can't get through, if you walk up, they think they're going to try and, like, they'll normally be down here trying to hit the block, but as soon as you move forward, they crawl up this block and then get stuck right here with their head sticking through and you can just blow their head straight off. It's beautiful. It works out so much better than putting bars down. And because you can see out here, you can shoot out all you want. If you want to melee, you can actually melee out there. You just got to be careful of the hitbox. There's a very narrow hitbox in here. Like right in here is very narrow. You got to be like right in the center to be able to swing out. Um, if you go a little too high or a little too low, you hit the blocks. So you got to go like right in the center. But shooting out becomes a breeze. Let's get this on. Shooting out becomes a breeze through here, like through this through this little bit once this is in installed and then throwing pipe bombs out becomes easy because you throw it right at the, at the zombies it bounces off them and drops down right at their feet and because there'll be a trough there you know they won't be able to do a damn thing hey guys okay they're coming from the side so not as good Hey, Mo. I'm glad I put it at the side, though. Hello, people. Welcome to my base. Here, have a pipe bomb right in your face. Let's see where we're at here. Oh yeah, they've done good damage on the outside already. So this is a 16 zombie horde. Not so bad. Now I thought about using grenades on a build like this, but the problem with grenades is the splash damage does a lot of damage to you. The pipe bombs, on the other hand, like nothing.
Yeah, with the new base design, that won't happen. Yeah. Ooh. That's why I like to choke on these rather than the uh, duck bill. Because when you do get that head, head hit, all of the pellets go right to their head. Look at this. Yeah, baby. Working well now. Pipe bombs, pipe bombs. I got me some pipe bombs. Now the grenades do more damage, but not significantly more. Pipe bombs do 240. And if you've got um, demolitions up to rank 3, which is I'm like aiming for, it's an extra 30%, so you're doing over 300 damage with the pipe bomb. Because you can see the normal zombies go down. And it's just the ferals left, which barely have any hit points left. And I'm not taking anything. That was a twofer. Man, you walk right into that one, Kenny. Here they come from the front now. So when they come from the front, you're going to get a good idea what the, the, this next iteration of the Horde base will be doing. Ooh, they've gone through one set of the bars already. I haven't been watching. Hang on to that, guys. I wonder if I should put another set down. I don't feel good about that. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. You know what? Let's put this up now. So watch this. The doggos don't get it. Don't, don't get nailed in this one. But the next base, they'll be going right into the uh, barbed wire. Or into the uh, electric fence, that is. Hold that, please. It's going to be a shooting gallery. Okay, there's a vulture up there. I don't hear the, the uh, thing going off, though. Oh, yeah, it's going off. I see the flashes. Probably got a second. That's exactly what this next base is going to be like. They're going to show up there and I'm just going to pop their heads off. Set those spider zombies up. Now, uh, Anthony mentioned that uh, he'd like to see me try and do a horde base without doing any repairs. This next one, I probably shouldn't have to repair it at all. As long as it's set up right, I, I've, I've yet to have to repair the damn thing. And I, I de I've defended um, 
hit with a double barrel shotgun. Alright, so we're almost halfway through the night. They've broken one set of bars, but that's my fault. That better not be it. Is that it? No, here they come. I should have taken that time to go upstairs and cleared those vultures, but they're not breaking through this anytime soon. So pipe bombs are 12, 12 gunpowder, and each shotgun round needs four. So if I can kill a bunch with a pipe bomb as opposed to using the shotgun rounds, it's it's just going to save me a crap ton of gunpowder. It just handles the horde so efficiently, too. God, the headshot. This is a level one, too. Where do we get a better one? That was a military guy, too, with armor. But this is why I like to choke, right? The duck bill would spread that damage out, and I don't think you'd be getting this many headshots. Is that butter die? No. Oh, there's a cop. Where is he? We gotta make repair. Let's kill this cop first. Let's clear the door, and then we gotta fix these. Uh... Which one is damaged? Ah, shit. You know what? It's the one out in the corner there. Let's see if I can get to it. Oh, I got to it. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get to it. Oh, for crying out loud. Here. Hold this instead. Up. Wow, he broke through. Okay, I've got to put a block up there. Huh. Are you trying to break in my house? Whoops. That's my bad. One of the two. Where did he go? There's another one up there. There you are. in my house. That's 
Actually, let's go ahead and make a set of bars. Um, then we can go advanced. Do it that way. There we go. Oh, fucking trick or treaters. Here. A trick for you. Come on, you big turd blossom. Make me break my house. I think that's it. I think that should be it. We didn't even use a stack of pipe bombs. Went through little, well, almost two stacks. We had, or yeah, about two stacks of uh, shotgun shells. We had like what, 63 or something? And then 150 in this, so but you know, over 200 rounds of shotgun. Might as well repair this. But we'll be moving all this stuff. I'm shocked that these, uh... Shocked that these fences work so well. Actually, we better turn this off. Alright, well, let's go out and get our loot. Let's keep the pig gun up, though. All right, go ahead and use this. Fingers crossed, I should have dropped some stuff off inside. Let's go do that right now. God damn it. Well, we got time. Not like we don't have time. Keep all that 762 on us just in case. That's it. Not a lot. Thought there'd be a lot more, but let's see what we got out of that. So, um, uh, college jacket, urban combat that we already know, 647 dukes, 329 coins. Well, this was at 71, so we made what, like 80, 90 rounds of steel. This is useless, some arrows. Ah, a little bit of shotgun ammo back. So, and a duster. No big deal. So, yeah, I mean, not really worth it. But, you know, that's half the fun. You never know what you're going to get, right? Alright, so I'm going to end this episode here, guys. The next one we'll pick up uh, partway through the morning of the next next uh, day. We're going to go to the traders, both of them. So we'll probably pick up around 6 o'clock. Um, we're going to cash in all the stuff that we've got. we got to see what they have. Um and if there's anything useful hopefully we can get some ammo off these guys or gun hopefully they got a lot of gunpowder or something but anyway i'm gonna end this episode here hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below until next time we'll see you later